What's going on guys? It's me again and I got some more pickups for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I picked up this week, um, nothing really special, but for $250 I picked up a copy of SRS uh, Street Racing Syndicate for the Xbox. The uh, reason I picked this up is because I remember kind of enjoying this game when I was little. Um, if I remember correctly, I think it got bad reviews, but I enjoyed it. Um, and I think Tila Tequila's in this game. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And then from the flea market, I picked up a VHS of Dragon Ball Z Cooler's Revenge. Um, I actually used to have this movie a while back, but I gave it to my cousin. But um, I went ahead and picked it up again. Like, I don't know. I don't have a VCR, but I thought it was kind of cool. And I only paid a dollar for it. And it even has music from Disturbed and Deftones, which I really enjoy. So, and then also from the flea market, I picked up a sealed copy of... Um, Kingdom Hearts 2 for the PS2. It's sealed and black label. Um, as you can see, it's sealed and everything. And I only paid four bucks for it. Um, I have this game already. Um, I have this game already. As you can see, this is my copy and this is the sealed one. But um, this one has... My copy is complete with the manual and the the disc but for some reason this one feels heavier so I don't know if there's something else in here and I really don't want to open it and find out so um, if anybody has this game like complete can you please uh, tell me in the comments if there's anything else in this game and then from another pawn shop I picked this game up for five bucks Smackdown vs Raw 2008 uh, reason I picked this one up is basically for the story mode because the newer ones don't have a story mode so um, yeah I picked it up for five bucks. They were originally asking ten, but they set it down, so I just went ahead and got it. Uh, the next three games I actually got from the movie training company. They were having a buy two get one free sale, so um, the two games I actually bought. The first one is uh, Def Jam Icon. Um, I recently picked up Fight for New York, and um, I remember this one being really fun too. So I went ahead and picked this one up as well, and it's complete and everything. Um, as you can see, it was $14.99. And the next game I got is uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted for the 360. This one's actually kind of a letdown. Uh, I was expecting more or something different, and um, it wasn't what I was expecting. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this game. I don't know. I might. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. And then the free game that I got, actually, because my brother made me get it, um, he keeps telling me I need to play this game, so I finally got it. Uh, Far Cry 3. Um, I've yet to play it, but I hear good things about it. So those games I bought on a Friday, and um, I went back on Sunday, and I actually got three more games, um, which two are mine, and um, a friend got the other one. So I only have two really to show. <clears throat> the first one I got is New Super Mario Brothers for the Wii. Um, I hadn't played one of these in a long time. The only one I had played was the one on the DS, the New Super Mario Brothers DS or whatever. Um, and surprisingly, this game is pretty fun. So. Especially when you have uh, multiple people to play with. And then the last game that I got is uh, WWE 2K14. Um, I've actually been wanting this game for a while, but I just never wanted to pay like 30 bucks for it. Uh, this one was actually $32.99, but I got a free game for it with it. So, And um, it is complete and everything, but the disc is actually in my uh, Xbox. I've been playing this game. Um, I really enjoyed the Wrestlemania mode and the Undertaker beat the streak mode. I actually already beat the streak with CM Punk, <laughs> um, which I think should have happened instead of Brock Lesnar beating it, but that's for a, a whole nother video. Um, but yeah, WWE 2K14. Um, I am a big rock fan. I was a big rock fan in the 90s and early 2000s, but um, I don't know, his past runs just haven't been really impressing me. so. I'm gonna actually change the cover out to the reverse one. <laughs> um, I'm gonna actually keep this cover. So thanks to um, MVP Mike13 for making this cover. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I really apologize for the lack of pickups these past few weeks. Um, I really hope that I can get back into making these videos once a week. That's the plan, anyway. So um, thanks for watching, everybody. 